Hi, Lauren and Elisa. Uh, Jonathan Ray here again. Um, just touching base with you uh, to kind of go over a few things that I didn't get to cover yesterday since we had run out of time. So if you're interested, uh, just more about like why I'm going into code and how I believe that could be really useful to your UX design intern position. So starting off, um, what's in right now maybe is seems to be video, but maybe a designer doesn't necessarily understand how that's being done. So with a little bit of understanding of code, I know there's a video element in there, so I can go ahead and search in the Google Chrome Developer Tools. And here's the element here. And you can see that they have actually two, they're pulling in an image and they're pulling in a, um, a video. So you can see it should collapse when I drag it. Yep, so based on the pixel width, it's the video there and I can pull that out and see, okay, here's the video, it's just H the HTML, and you can see that the text is no longer styled, so I believe this kind of just gives you, uh, a design as a designer, a uh, better understanding of what the competition is doing, maybe what where the trends are going and how to improve upon them. A uh, tool I've been using quite a bit is called CodePen, and um, it's really great. It allows you to use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript right here on the page, and what you're making appears right next to that. So um, what's being done a lot with code prototypes is images are being pulled right there from Amazon AWS, um, and so these are just like tutorials for me to understand better how these design mockups are becoming code mockups. And I believe can um, something like this might be more common for developers to receive coding prototypes in the near future from the designers themselves. Um, this one right here is pulling a, a random image from Unsplash. You can see right here, it's function random. And then I've got another one here, which this is designed with percentiles and M's to make it a little more responsive. So just to give myself a better understanding of responsive design and how developers have to incorporate that and uh, you know a, a bit of an understanding I think goes a long way and uh, especially when it comes to pushing the state of the art and pulling that code apart. Um, so another thing I mentioned I had experience with like um, computer vision and then there's things like the graphics library OpenCV and these are all open source algorithms that people can play around with. I know like you know understanding how to manipulate the code itself and play around with it gives you kind of a cool edge at times and maybe gives you a little bit of a better understanding of like, okay, well, this is a kind of a cool effect. What can I do to change it around and maybe we can incorporate that into our products? Um, and I had mentioned before that, you know, my father uh, really needed more visibility on the internet. Um, so last month he just said, you know, it's the first time in six years that he's had any web presence and he's just really appreciative of that. Um, i show you right here. So Top Flight Aviation is his. He's right here, just behind Indeed, Yellow Pages, and then uh, In-State Turbine. And then if you type in John's Island, perhaps, um, where he actually is located, you can see he's number one just behind the ad. So like that's a really big deal for him. That's what he needed the most was to just get some more web presence. Um, so the design actually for me comes behind getting him that presence in the first place since he had a website already in place. Um, and then you know I, I plan to build out that site too and understanding maybe you know what's in, what's current. I can get maybe a video and understanding how that's embedded allows me as a designer and um, a developer kind of take him through the full full process there. Um, so to end it off, a quote I really love, to develop a complete mind, study the science of art, study the art of science, learn how to see, realize that everything connects to everything else. And that's by Leonardo da Vinci, who I believe is the ultimate right brain, left brain guy out there. And um, yeah, really thank you so much for your time. I think that I could be a pretty good fit for your UX design intern position, and uh, I hope you guys um, have really good luck on finding who fits best for that. Thank you so much. Bye.